Okay, label this uh, reflection and absorption. When light strikes a surface, it can do one of two things. And this goes right back to the idea of the absorption and reflection lab. Okay, one, it can reflect, or two, it can absorb. So this light can reflect or it can absorb. When you did your, uh, you got a pencil I can borrow? no. Oh, that's the thing. When you guys did your uh, lab, excuse me. Sorry. When you guys did your lab, you had black paper, white paper, and aluminum foil. Of the three, which one theoretically should have shown no absorption? White. Aluminum foil, white paper, black paper. Of the three, which one should have shown no absorption? Aluminum foil. In the lab, we said aluminum foil was 100% reflection. So what percent was it absorption? Just hang on, answer my question first. What, what percent absorption was it? Zero. White paper was pretty high reflection, very little absorption. But black paper, on the other hand, had the highest percent of absorption. Therefore, it had the lowest percent of reflection. The thing to remember, if the percent of reflection increases, the percent of absorption decreases. And the, the converse of that statement is true also. If absorption increases, reflection will decrease. So if I have something that's 75% reflection and 25% reflection, what's the absorption? 25%. What's the absorption here? 75%. Those two values have to equal 100. Those surfaces are either going to absorb or they're going to reflect. When you guys, we did the lab, there's one more key piece of information. And again, it's, it's kind of what you've experienced like during the summer and the changing of the seasons. If you absorb more energy, what happens to temperature? The higher the absorption rate, what should ha happen to temperature of that material? It should increase. So if you were given two reflection percentages, which one would you see the highest temperature change? Yeah. That one's reflecting it. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. That one's reflecting at 25%, so therefore it's absorbing at 75. This one is absorbing at 25. So the greater the absorption, the greater the temperature change. And that's a key thing to remember. The greater the absorption, the more temperature change. Of the three colors that you, well, two colors in the aluminum foil, which one absorbed or should have had the greatest temperature change? Black. Black. So it took in the most sunlight or the most energy. That should have been the highest one. That is why when you look at uh, solar cells and solar panels, what color are they? They're a dark color because dark colors have a tendency to absorb and not reflect as much. Snow has a tendency really to reflect the energy. And water has a tendency to reflect. So again, make sure you can tell if given absorption or reflection, you can also get the opposite value out of there.
So that's really all I got to say on that. Uh, you got the rest of the things to get done. You got about four things to have done for tomorrow. So you got rest of the time.